Well, hi, everybody. Welcome in once again to another Get to Know the Royals right back here on the Queens University Sports Network YouTube page. Always glad to have you along with us. As always, I'm Mike Glennon. And here today, I am joined by Director of Sports Performance for Queens and Mark Lepkowski. And Mark, thanks so much for taking some time out to join us here this morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, I just mentioned it. You are the Director of Sports Performance here for Queen's University. And I, I know it's been kind of a, a long route getting there, kind of a circuitous route to get there for you. But uh, let's start back at, at your time here at Queen's before you got the job as Director of Sports Performance, as you started as a lacrosse player here and went on into the professional world. And now you find yourself back here. So can you start to talk a little bit about your time here at Queen's and kind of what I guess what spurred you into becoming a uh, into going into the sports performance world? Yeah, so um, when I was a student athlete here, I was a biology major and thought I wanted to do um, physical therapy. So I took the pre physical therapy route, took all the courses required for that, and found that that was not where I wanted to be, not the environment. Um, and so then I graduated, was really. Um, Unsure was really into being physically active in the fitness, um, but had the opportunity to go to Australia and, and play lacrosse for a summer. And then I came back and um, started to, to look around for jobs. And, and uh, that's when I had or figured out I, uh, the stuff that I didn't want to do. Sure. And, um, and then a little bit after that, Queens hired their first uh, strength and conditioning coach and Darren Tyson. And I was able to intern with him for about six months, six or seven months. Um, and then it took off from there. I, I found that, you know, I was excited to wake up and, and go to the weight room at five or five 30 in the morning and, and really looked forward to each day and in working with the student athletes that we had and, and some of the Olympic level athletes too, that were around. It was, it was great. Well, you know, it's one of those things sometimes in this grand scheme of life, you have to try some things that you don't like to ultimately find the thing that you love. I know I'm in a similar boat. Uh, I kind of did some odd jobs here and there that I just, I knew I didn't want to make a career and I wanted to get into something different. And obviously now I find myself here as a member of this Queens community. So, hey, uh, we both kind of had similar routes, just to two completely <laughs> different jobs, of course, but uh, yeah. at the same time. Now you went right up the road for your uh, master's at Lenore Ryan. Um, you graduated there in 2018. Can you talk about, you know, the internship here and then what led into your master's and then, of course, you know, what you decided to do from that point? So I knew that the um, after my internship here with Darren, uh, I knew that the next step that I needed to take was a graduate assistantship where I was able to write my own programs while still having um, someone in that mentorship role. Sure. And so I went to Belmont. Uh, uh, Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, okay. and um, was a graduate assistant there for a semester and then went to the University of Minnesota shortly after that uh, and got to work with some great coaches. And then um, I had the opportunity, accepted the job here, obviously, and, uh, and then started really looking around and, and diving into programs that would really help me develop as a coach. Mm -hmm. And um, and so that's when I entered into the exercise science program at, at Lenore Ryan. Well, you know, let me ask you this. You touched on it. Uh, you went to the University of Minnesota where you got to actually work with the Olympic sports up there. And, you know, I know we had talked about this before, but kind of can you talk a little bit about that experience and how working with a wide array of athletes really kind of helped you understand the fact that this is, yeah, this is something I want to do for a living. Yeah. So um, when I was at Minnesota, you know, they have – three different weight rooms. So we got to be allowed around a lot of different coaches and they have a, a large staff due, you know, to so, having so many weight rooms. And sure. so we, I really got to be a part of uh, a lot of programs that I had not seen before, like wrestling, men's and women's ice hockey, which are some of the best in division one, if not yeah. the best um, women's volleyball, same thing. Top, I mean, top in the country. Sure. Um, so it was really interesting to see and interact with the coaches that worked with those teams and find out what their approach to training was. Mm -hmm. And especially because I had no prior experience in working with those types of athletes. So it was really good in that regard. Um, and then, I mean, just the level of coaching and the quality of coaching that they have there uh, within their strength and conditioning part department is phenomenal. Sure. 
Well, you know, and, and you talked about kind of working that wide array of athletics. And I, and I know this, I spoke with Jenna Reddy um, a, couple of, a couple of days ago as a part of our alumni spotlight. And just so you know, she shouted you out because uh, <laughs> you helped get her start into what she's ultimately doing now, which is Director of Sports Performance for Women Basketball at uh, Wake Forest. But, you know, she talked about it being able at such a, you know, a young age to be able to just really be hands-on with a whole lot of programs. You got that similar type experience here at Queens as well. So can you talk about that experience here with Queens a little bit more with Coach Tyson and just kind of what you learned overall and how that led into where you are right now? Yeah. So, I mean, when I first started, I was very, very green, you know, just sure. had anatomy and phys physiology, wrote my own programs, you know, kind of, some bro workouts, I guess you could say, you <laughs> sure. know, to that point. Um, and then I really wanted or really had the interest in, you know, learning more about programming, why things are set up the way they are, different types of programming. What can you put together? Um, how does that correspond with the sport? What are the requirements of a sport? You know, like what happens during um, the course of gameplay? And so really starting to dive into those things and learning more about that, like what is a needs analysis? What is an annual plan? Um, and he really gave me the opportunity to learn all those things. In addition, I mean, I interned with um, a girl by the name of Sarah, and she was a, a, uh, a UNCC women's soccer player. And so, you know, we were all working together and um, we were able to, you know, walk through th some things and really get a lot of good experience um, in, in, you know, and I can bounce, I could bounce stuff off of her. I could bounce stuff off of, uh, off of Darren. And I mean, it was just a, a really, really good situation. Um, and also too, he entrusted me, you know, to work with the athletes one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, gave me a little bit more responsibility as I was around, um, more and more. And he was able to trust me, which was, I think, huge as well. Well, sometimes, especially in a field like yours, I feel like that, you know, there's only so much you can read in a book. You, you really got to have that trial by fire and just trial and error and understanding what works, what doesn't work. And I think that's been something that's always interested me about sports performance are the intricacies of it and how, you know, like you said, I, I'd love for you to describe kind of a typical day, but I realize that's a little bit easier said than done because it really bases, it's a based off the athletes that you're working with. But can you just try to talk about in your daily, in your daily job right now um, as director, kind of what your normal day looks like in season? Yeah. So, um, you know, typically the, the schedule varies by day, obviously. Sure. Um, and so we will work directly with the athletes that are coming in for that day. And then outside of that, you know, we're, we're coordinating um, if exercises and workouts need to be adjusted for injured athletes. Uh, so talking and communicating with athletic training mm -hmm. and finding out, you know, what's going on with a certain athlete, what can we avoid? This is our workout today, kind of walk through those things with them. And they're, they've been, you know, fantastic as well. We're, I mean, it's nice to have a door uh, literally adjacent, you know, to the weight room. So, um, and then setting up workouts for, or training programs for the, the next training block, you know, what are we seeing in the weight room currently? Uh, and, and what can we move towards? Mm -hmm. You know, because typically there's an end goal, especially when it comes to exercise selection that I would like to get to as a coach. And so how do those pieces fit together? Well, also, um, developing the qualities that I'm looking to develop, you know, within each training block. Um, and then, you know, communicating with the staff members that I have with, uh, Ben, DJ, um, managing the interns, making sure that they're taken care of as well, depending on, you know, how many <laughs> we have that semester. Yeah. Uh, and so it's, uh, it's, it's fun. I don't really consider this a job that I'm, really fortunate I feel like to to be here at Queens and and do everything that I am able to do and um and works alongside some great people well you know that's the key like we talked about finding something you love to do and you know sticking with it and, and just continuing to learn to grow in that but enjoying growing in that particular field is always a uh, a very nice thing to have to find some true happiness in a professional aspect anyway but um you know can you talk to a little bit about what it means to you to knowing that you both played for this program and now you come full circle and you are the, the man to go to, uh, you know, with, with this, this director of sports performance job and kind of 
what it means to you to be working for your alma mater and to also, like you said, with the interns that come through your program, what it means to help them out if they are indeed Queens, uh, Queens University students as well. Yeah, so um, can you hit me with the first the first part of that question again? Sure, yeah. <laughs> no, you're fine. Sorry, I, I realized that was long-winded. I can be that way. Uh, but no, just talking about what it means to you to be a, a, working at your alma mater, doing what you're doing, and and finding that passion, and now being here where you yeah. Finish it up. So um, you know, I I I look at being able to move or or having to move for positions. Um, as a really great experience from the aspect of, I knew, um, you know, where I wanted to be. And so I, I loved living in Charlotte. I, I think I took a Charlotte for granted for a little while. And then I moved to Nashville and was like, oh man, there's a lot of traffic <laughs> stuff going on here. You know, I, I miss Charlotte. And then I moved to Minnesota and it's, I get there and it's negative 20 degrees. And I'm like, okay, this is not necessarily, you know, an area that I would, prefer to live in. Um, sure. And so to come to Charlotte or come be able to come back to Charlotte and, and work for my alma mater, um, I just felt like everything, you know, fell into place and I won the lottery basically. Um, and then uh, in terms of, you know, working with our interns and the people that we have come through, you know, our, my biggest thing is I want to, my goal is to develop somebody that can then take those skills, have an opportunity to develop those skills with us, and then move on, you know, towards the next step that they're taking in their career, you know, make sure that they're fully prepared. And also, you know, I guess you could consider it, you know, giving back to the world of strength and conditioning and spending the time, taking the time to, to go through things, um, you know, a little bit more than maybe some internship programs do, but it's got to be worthwhile, you know, it, it, it doesn't do anyone any good if they just come into the weight room and stand around and not really be a part of the program, a part of the session, and, and really take that initiative in uh, trying to learn. Well, you know, it had to be a bit of an adjustment trying to find that balance of being able to let them be hands on, but also teaching them at the same time and not just having them stand around in the corner and look. And, you know, in terms of the way things have worked with this program over the last couple of years, of course, it's always changing because you're always looking for ways to improve it. But, you know, can you just talk about the kind of relationships that you've developed with the people you've worked with, but also the athletes that you work with and the coaching staffs here? Yeah, I think, you know, as, as a university, we have some awesome coaches and, and it's really a collaborative effort in, you know, in what we're doing in the weight room or on the court or on the field or, you know, whatever it may be. And, you know, as in terms of the staff members that I'm, I'm able to work with, you know, Ben and DJ and, um, and Dana helped us out this past semester, you know, there's a lot of, they've been different places. They have different experiences just like I do. And so when we're able to sit down and, and have a staff meeting and things like that, um, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. I want it to be, you know, they're part of the program. So their, their input is really important to me. And, um, and I really enjoy the fact that we have different experiences and, um, and we're able to, you know, talk through stuff, work through stuff. And, and they give me something else to think about, you know, it's not, it's sure. not going to be my way or the highway because I don't, I don't think they have things that are important to them as a coach in terms of their coaching philosophy. And I want them to be able to thrive uh, you know, here at Queens. Well, so. learning in a collaborative sense, obviously yeah. you've, uh, you've taken what the education that was given to you here by Queens and now kind of turned that around in, in your own career. So Mark, I appreciate you joining us here this morning. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know even though the seasons are winding down, uh, you, you still have a whole lot to do. So I appreciate you carving some time out for us. Thanks for, thanks for having me. I, uh, had a lot of fun. Absolutely. And uh, we'll, we'll keep up to date with you and uh, we'll have you back on to talk a little bit more, especially once things start to kick into high gear come next season, uh, just to kind of give people an update on the sport performance. But like I say, coach, uh, really appreciate you joining us here today. Thanks. All right. That'll do it. Another get to know the Royal segment here on the YouTube page for the Queen Sports Network. Make sure you come back and join us each and every Tuesday right back here at 10 a.m. And as always, go Royals.